Hello everyone, Anime Nyan here. Why does anime and manga like high school so much? It's a question which I've been poring over as of late. Crying, nudging, and prodding it. Why is it always high school? All in an effort for the great puzzle of anime and manga to give up its precious knowledge. To open up and just give me a sliver of insight into its vast wisdom so that I can take it, comprehend it, and actualize even the smallest bit. To make myself a little bit more knowledgeable about the world around us. High school is a recurring motif in anime and manga, but my question is why? Why is high school such a figurehead of Japanese culture and beliefs? Welcome to the discussion. I guess we'll start off at the start, as all things do. Part 1. Nostalgia. To begin with, Japanese culture is very focused on the idea that hard work equals attainment. They have a history, a work ethic, hinged on the idea that to succeed is to work hard, that through sweat, blood, and tears, excellence can be achieved. Normally, I would see this as a good thing. However, when working overtime until 2 to 3 a.m. becomes the norm, and people are committing suicide from the vast stress caused by this obsession, the line between productivity and the welfare of Japan's workers becomes blurred. And I think somewhere, at some point, they crossed that line. The issue is overwork. Currently in Japan, there is a system which perpetuates misguided notions of loyalty and with worker exploitation, in which employees work overtime without logging their hours for fear of their employment, in which young people are unable to even consider having a family with job security houses that take several generations to pay off, and having to work ludicrous hours over time on the horizon. Now, what is the difference, you ask? And I'd say a lot of things. Happiness, enjoyment, quality of life, all of them suffer at the hands of overwork. But I think the greatest irony is the loss of productivity. In the very act of striving to create productivity through longer hours, the more it suffers. And I think you'll find that people who are rested up and enjoy coming to work every day are more productive than those who are not. And although I for one admire resilience, the ability to persevere amongst trials and tribulations to persist where no one else will, this, this is something else. This isn't helping anyone. Not being able to work at your peak condition because of you having next to no sleep is not resilience. And the fact that culture, in, this is engraved into the very culture, the very fabric of Japan's history makes it a huge problem. Just search Karoshi just search Karoshi or Death by Overwork into Google and you'll see the scale of this well-documented issue. This is a war and the casualties are many, including the aging population, rapidly declining birth rates, escalating rates of mental illness and suicide and the harm to Japan's economy. But how does this relate to high school at all? The problem of overwork is a distinct part of Japanese culture, and culture defines art. You see, people in Japan long to go back to a simpler time, with less challenges, when they didn't have to work such long and arduous hours. What I believe is that anime and manga have evolved to fulfill these wishes. 
to address this issue through the underlying messages beneath the facade of happiness and enjoyment. To momentarily allow readers, their audience, to join them in these fantasy worlds, going back to a time when they could play with their friends easily, to when emotions were expressed more readily and simple assignments were their only worries, and in turn for art that would reflect this need. And that is where high school comes in. It is unsurprising that people would long for high school, that it would serve as a cornerstone, as the, the cornerstone for the magical and vibrant fantasies which take place in anime and manga. Because for Japanese people, it is a place of memories, of good times, when work hours and companies didn't dictate their every move. These societal issues have defined genres such as isekai, which share a common characteristic. They breathe a sense of escapism into our lives upon watching them. Why does anime and manga like high school so much? Here's one answer. Because it is the perfect setting for the exploration of hopes and dreams, societal issues, and, and for, things, for things never experienced, and emotions never conceived. It is nostalgic and a time of great fondness for a great many people, and reflects a crucial issue facing Japan even today. But I think there's one more reason why high school is specifically used so extensively in anime and manga. Part 2. Relationships. You know, the only reason I ever thought of this video was because I was analysing a regular at Magic High School. It's a fantastic anime. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Really. Because it is my favourite anime of all time. I'll get into the nitty gritty in my next videos, but I want to discuss the reason why this anime was my inspiration. Something always struck me as odd while watching a regular at Magic High School. And it was one question. If all the characters are high school students, why do they behave like adults? Some of the characters seemed too, matu too mature. After all, the lines are written by adults, and I can tell you that it is impossible not to include a little portion of yourself in anything you make. Thus, I think what I saw was the briefest glimpse behind that curtain, seeing the adults behind the show, their values and beliefs. But then I realized it wasn't about their ages. In fact, it wasn't about high school at all. It's about what the high school, what high school represents, which is the relationships between the characters. I mean, think about it. High school is a time of importance because of relationships. It is the last time you are together with those you have known for so long and the crossroads of society. It is the last time you are able to collaborate with people you know and choose until you are split up into different careers and separated from your peers. And that is scary. Because after that, there will be no one to talk to you, no one to guide you, and for the first time ever, you will be alone. I have a unique perspective on this issue as I'm on the border of being in school and out, outside in the world. And I'm afraid, because when was the last time you could really be together, unrestricted, working with those you had known for so long? School is a place to form these relationships. And we, when anime and manga use this as a backdrop, it isn't about the school, but the relationships which form within. And that, my friends, is what we care about. We care about the relationships because that is what makes a story unique and engaging. 
So why does anime and manga like high school so much? Here's another answer. It's because high school is the location in which people are able to build meaningful relationships. And relationships are the convoluted web of interactions that is and makes up the story. The human element, so to speak. It isn't about the events which occur, but the characters' reactions to what occurs. And what better place than a diverse collection of kids who speak their minds freely and give their opinions freely. Because kids are mercifully ignorant of bureaucracy, politics, and all these things which adults worry about. They have only but their honest, uh, their honest opinion to grace the world with. And that, my friends, is what viewers wish to see. And that's why anime, manga, and light novels use high school. I understand that we've had a look at themes which you might not be comfortable with, but thank you very much for staying. So a quick summary of what we've learned in this video and a few takeaways, which you might be able to apply to become that little bit more informed about the world around us. Anime, manga, and light novels use the settings of high school, use the setting of high school to highlight crucial issues facing modern day Japan, our location of cultural significance and nostalgia, and show relationships in an honest and unrepressed manner. And that's about it. Thank you very much for being here with me on this learning journey. I can never overstate the significance of you guys and girls to me. Because, in fact, I am you. I am a YouTube addict, and I know exactly how it feels to see something amazing. And that is my goal, to build just that. In order to strive towards that, I will continue to make videos to improve my insight so that I can be more entertaining for you guys. Now, if you have something you want to say or discuss anything you want to talk about, just feel free to talk to me in the comments below. You are my lifeblood. So thank you so much for watching. Anime Nyan, out.